Leftover older modern women having mental breakdowns realizing dating is futile at their age. <laughs> I'm okay. I lied. One more national boyfriend post. I'm actually gonna f***ing lose. But in like a good way. If that makes sense. Like, my God, I'm so alone. And all my girlfriends are like, yes, girl, but like you're focusing on yourself. Like, focus on yourself. There's nothing else to focus on. Like, I am so complete. I am so whole. I know myself so well. I love myself so much. I just want an addition onto my life. Like, in a, like I just want someone to be added on. And someone to, like, be complete with. It's not even like I need someone to complete me. Like, I'm already completed. But, like, I just want, like... If you really want to turn your dating life around, you've got to be willing to shake things up. You can't just sit back and expect good guys to magically show up at your doorstep. The truth is, if you keep doing what you've always done, you'll keep getting the same results. Nothing. Start putting yourself out there and try new things. Whether it's picking up a new hobby, exploring different social circles, or even just changing up your attitude, you need to show that you're open, interesting, and capable of growth. Good guys are looking for someone who's exciting and evolving, not someone who's stuck in a rut. If you don't make an effort to change, don't be surprised when you keep getting overlooked. Here are some ways that I would shut down and shame a misogynistic asshole. Wow, that's not a question or behavior that I would expect from someone who is secure in their masculinity. I'm so disappointed because I really thought you were a strong, respectable man. I never needed you to be perfect, but I never expected you to be so weak. Now I see why you're so insecure. And if they're going really low and you need to go to hell, these ones. I usually go for looks, but I was trying something different with you and I don't think I will again. You have the confidence of a much taller, more attractive man. Always go for the ego, never talk about your feelings, and happy insulting. You seem to take a lot of pride in everything you do, especially when it comes to your dating life. But let me give you some tough love. You need to bring that ego back down to earth. No good guy is going to want to date someone who's full of themselves and thinks they're better than everyone else. If you really want to attract quality guys, you got to drop the ego and start being a bit more humble. Otherwise, you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. I just wanted to tell you I put myself back on a dating app. Here's what I'm doing differently. I'm just saying, I'm just saying I'm doing differently is I am not looking for matches. I am waiting for the matches to come to me, right? So then if they like me, and it's only on one app, it's a free app. If they like me and I think it's a match, I'll like them back. And then I wait for them to do the conversation. <laughs> I wait for them to start. It's like crickets. They don't, I'm not starting the conversation, people. It's kind of like if you open the door for me. No, wait, that's a bad analogy. It's kind of like if you wave to me and I wave back, you're waving to me because you want to start a conversation, I would think, but you're not. You're just hanging out. I don't care. I'm just going to wait. Navigating the world of dating apps can be exciting, and it's great to feel like you're standing out from the crowd. However, if you're playing hard to get, it might be worth considering how this approach could be perceived. While it can create a sense of mystery, it might also lead to misunderstandings or confusion. Instead, focus on being authentic and clear about what you're looking for. Genuine connections are built on honesty and transparency. By being yourself and showing your true intentions, you'll attract the right people who appreciate you for who you really are. After all, it's not about just being different, it's about being real. Talk about why you're pretty, but never get asked out. The first reason why is a lot of boys are scared of rejection. They might seem confident, but they are actually really terrified of it. That's why a lot of guys go for the seven or eights, not the nines and ten. Honestly, your perspective is way off. You think guys aren't approaching you because they're afraid of rejection? The truth is they're not interested in someone who's all about looks and attitude. If you're just giving off this vibe that you're too good for everyone, you're the one who needs to take a step back. Guys are looking for someone genuine, someone who's not just a pretty face but has a personality to match. If you keep this stuck-up attitude, you're not just going to be left behind, you're going to push people away. It's not about them being scared, it's about you not offering anything real. Wake up before you find yourself completely alone. I've been single my entire life my entire life. I'm going to be turning 42 in August and I've never had anybody love me 
or desire me or want to be with me. Um, and I have so much love that I feel like that is inside of me with nowhere to go because it can't transfer to friends or my family or my parents because it's something separate, it's something different. And I've gathered all of this love since I was in high school and then it just sits there and it eats me alive sometimes. And I'm bringing this up, oh my gosh, I just slammed my hand off of that. Uh, sorry, I'm bringing this up because I'm lonely and sad and the world is hard and horrible. And I was thinking this morning that like no one's laid next to me in bed. I've never had the comfort of someone's arms around me. Um, when I've had difficult moments, I've gotten through them by myself most of the time. Now I have a beautiful family of brothers and my mother and my dad when he was alive and I love them and I'm grateful for them. But there's something different about having somebody that's there for you, next to you, with you, and it's a different kind of loneliness if you've been single all of your life. And I know that there are people who get this, there are people who follow me that get this. But I was thinking about it in terms of just bigger worldly issues as well. The fear of the world and the difficulties that we are seeing. And again, this is minuscule on the level of what some people are facing, but it doesn't mean that it's nothing. And I have to figure out how to deal with these feelings. But the idea that like I don't go home and, and somebody's there to talk with and cook dinner with and um, I have a roommate, but we do our own things. We have our own lives. And again, it's not the same. It's not the same. And I'm always told sometimes as a single person that um, it's not easier on the other side. And so I guess I just wanted to say to people um, who get this feeling that you're not alone. And I know that it's difficult, but I also know that there's a certain type of strength that has been developed that I have because of my experiences in my life that has led me to be able to, to do difficult things. And it's difficult being alone, um, and it's okay to feel lonely. And if you've never dated before and are feeling lonely, it's completely understandable to feel uncertain about where to start. Diving into the world of dating apps can be a great step towards finding meaningful connections. Here's a thought. Instead of seeing this as a last resort, view it as an exciting opportunity to explore new possibilities. Start by setting clear intentions for what you want and be open to meeting different people. Embrace the process with a positive mindset and see it as a journey of self-discovery as much as a quest for companionship. Remember, every connection starts with a single step, so take that leap with confidence and curiosity. You might just find that the adventure itself brings the change you're looking for. Thanks for sticking with me until the end. If you found this video helpful or enjoyed the discussion, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on any new videos, and you'll be the first to get the latest tips and advice. Hit that notification bell, too, so you're always in the loop. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.